no matter what they are. And there will always be people, and there will always be groups who make these type of claims. Whether it's, whether it's shown in a different way, or it is pictured to you, or it is displayed to you in the form of freedom, or whether it is shown to you in the expression of you know, rights, whether it is this, no matter what it is, what knowledge do they have to say such claims? And this is coming directly from our Creator, saying there will always be those claims. And the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is people like that will always exist. There is, there is up ahead accountability for them. But first of all, see the weakness in what they are saying. Because if you don't see the weakness in what they are saying, then you are more likely to get on board. If you don't see the weakness in what they are saying, if it goes against Allah, the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam, you see the weakness in what they are. Acknowledge that all of what they are saying is lies. Do we live with them? We live with them. Do we insult them? Do we hurt them? Do we harm them? No, because we're Muslims. And I'm not just talking about the... Uh, the sort of the, the social construct of, of, of gender. I'm talking about every other false ideology which plays with our minds and plays with our hearts, which puts us all, uh, which can put us in such challenging circumstances where your own livelihood would be at risk if you don't submit to those type of ideologies. That's the challenges we're facing. Our reputation, our credit, our, um, our, our careers, our lives, unless we submit to the falsehood that they are forcing you to submit to, is at risk. 